The rover behind me is a phenotyping rover. So it's got eight different cameras. They can be configured in multiple different ways. And we use it to look for traits relevant to plant breeders. In this field to my left, we're looking at fusarium head blight in wheat. But we can also look at things like leaf number, plant height, stand count, flowering time. I capture hundreds of heads per plot, multiple images per plot, and I can run this multiple times a week. That increases the biological resolution of the kind of traits we're looking for, the temporal resolution of how we can see that disease progress over time, and the accuracy. We've also been testing how these models work when using cell phone cameras and UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicle cameras. The idea is that if we can get this model to work on multiple different imaging platforms, we could deploy it in more ways, making it more accessible, more able to reach the people that need it most. One of the really powerful tools that high throughput phenotyping provides to breeders, growers, and researchers is that even though we're collecting images to look for one specific disease, those images now exist and can be shared with the general public, with other research institutions, with public and private breeders. So even though we're extracting, you know, fusarium head blight, a different researcher who's interested in on density could come in, take those images, model his own trait. The work being done on the University of Minnesota campus is being done for all of Minnesota. And I really think our department is special. We've got some of the brightest minds, not just in Minnesota, but across the country. And all the research they're doing in high throughput phenotyping and genomics really is going to have a huge impact on feeding the planet in the next 20, 50, and 100 years.